Hi, my name is John Miskos. I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, my background is in prototyping and designing electronics uh, for people and companies um, to get ideas off the ground. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to start an educational lesson around how to get started with electronics. So uh, the main thing is, what can you do with electronics? So if you look around in your everyday life, electronics is really part of your life. Um, so this camera that I'm looking at, the computer, the coffee machine that I'm going to go to in a minute, um, they all contain electronics. So uh, electronics can do such a variety of things, but basically they come down to a, just a couple key features. So if we have a look at the coffee machine, there is a button that I'll be pushing, um, which acts as an input to a little mini computer inside of it, we call a microcontroller. And that little mini computer contains instructions in how to make uh, the coffee that I'm after, which is specifically an espresso. So what's that microcontroller uh, then have to do? It goes, I've selected espresso from the menu. Um, and it says uh, that requires um, this much water. Um, it requires uh, heat to a certain amount. Um, and it requires beans grinded. Um, so it will turn on the heat, um, run until it receives an input from the, uh, the water um, a temperature sensor, um, and then it will run the pump, grind the beans appropriately, and out comes uh, the coffee. So what's happening there is uh, there's things that are inputs and outputs to the microcontroller, and it orchestrates all of that to get the job done. Um, so basically, to put it simply, we're going to have a look at the microcontroller, the brains of the operation, and how we can make our own devices using inputs and outputs and code. So it just comes down to those three things, inputs, outputs, code. And you can make instructions to make anything that you want. So let's get started. So if you can go to Tinkercad, T-I-N-K-E-R, uh, C-A-D dot com and sign up there. And so on the left hand side, you'll be presented with a few different uh, pieces. And so you can just go to circuits and start trying circuits. So this is an example of um, simply a battery, a resistor, and an LED. And so if we turn that on, you'll see that the LED lights up. So there's no uh, code in this, but this is uh, the most basic circuit that you can get. So this is an energy source. This is a way to limit the amount of power um, going into the LED. If we have a look at this resistor, so it's limiting the current. So I won't quite go into it just yet. Um, but basically, <coughs> current is like a uh, river. Um, so it's the amount of water flowing through. So if you let too much water through, say, you know, and your house was in the way, um, it would destroy your house. So in this way, let's see what happens if we re um, reduce the resistance, which increases the flow of water. So if we bring this down to 100, so you might have seen it got a little bit brighter. And if we bring this down even more to 20, it should be brighter. So we can see here, it's doing the calculation for us, which is quite nice. Um, it's saying that the current is 28.5 milliamps. So that's a measure of current. Um, normally you would go for about 20 milliamps. But adapt this on the fly. 10, now it's 40, 5, 1, so it's 58. So technically in real life we would have burnt um, the LED. Um, it might also be because uh, coin cells can't deliver as much power. But we'll see um, when you run this with the Arduino, it would have... Um, uh, been burnt and technically at that many milliamps it would have been burnt. 
So let's get rid of this so we can select these and delete them just using the delete key. And if we go onto the side and we go to Arduino, so these are the microcontrollers that I mentioned uh, earlier. And so uh, we can have a look at this one, which is Blink. So you can use your scroll to zoom out. So this is the most basic um, Hello World circuit uh, for Arduino. And I'll just explain what we've got here. So we've got the Arduino board itself, which is the microcontroller, so the brains. And so this is uh, the main chip there. And then these pins on the side break out what's happening on the, uh, this integrated circuit or IC. And so we've got a few main parts. So I'll just quickly step through those just so that we get a bit of an overall high level understanding. Um, there'll be time to get into these a little bit later. So we've got uh, where the USB uh, plugs in. So usually this is our power supply. There's an alternate power supply here. Um, this is a reset button. So it brings everything back to the start. And uh, here we've got ground, which um, to complete all circuits will for now um, we tie them back to ground so you start from a high potential and you go back down to ground and then you've got these numbers 13 12 11 10 these are inputs and outputs so in the program we can use to them to read and to write um, signals in and out of the microcontroller the um, the tilde uh, the little uh, wave um, is a special indicator indicating that it can chop and change very fast and do it in the background. Um, I'll skip this and then there's uh, effectively the analog version. So instead of it's on or it's off, it can be uh, an amount that goes up and down. So you can specify any level between zero and 100%, say. Um, this would be good for say you've got a light um, that uh, you know you can vary the um, you can vary the brightness or the other one would be you've got a say like a little knob we call this a potentiometer um, and you can vary um, how how much uh, it's turned up you know uh, zero to eleven um, and then you can read that back into the microcontroller and do something with it. Um, and then we've got some power. So we've got five volts out, 3.3 volts, which is a lesser voltage um, and ground for the return circuits. Um, we've got an external uh, power in, um, and this is useful when you're getting to more advanced items. So what we've got here is a circuit. So it's on digital 13, so it's either on or off. It goes into a resistor, and that's set at 220. A red LED, and then goes down to ground. So two things to note. One is LEDs have what's called a polarization. And so basically there's one side that it needs to be high, and one side needs to be low. And that, in this, is indicated by this little dog leg. Um, so this is the anode and this is the cathode. So this has got to go high and that goes low. So there's also a special thing about digital 13. There's also an LED on this board that does, copies the same. So the next piece is we can start the simulation. And we see that the LED, along with this one, blinks on and off. So unlike before, we've got this pulsing action going. So the purpose of this is to, to um, see that this microcontroller is doing something special. So unlike the battery, the battery was always on. This one is pulsing on and off. So the thing is, how is it actually doing that? So if we have a look at the code, so this button here, we see there's lots of different ways of doing code, and uh, this is a good one for beginners. Um, so this is called blocks. 
so you can snap together these different bits of code um, to do things. So let's just stop the simulation for now. So in these blocks, uh, that's just a title, that's a comment. So in coding, we use comments to be able to tell what we um, are doing. It's good for reference later. So uh, blue is an action block. Um, so it goes set built-in lead to, I can do high or low. So high is on, low is off. Wait a certain amount of seconds, and there's something called milliseconds, which is um, a hundredth, no, a thousandth of a second. Um, then a comment, and then we go turn it low, and then wait. Now, the thing is, when it drops out the bottom, it simply comes up to the top and starts again. So this is what we call a loop. This is our main loop. So if we were to, hello cat, if we were to change this to two seconds, what we should see is it turns on, waits two seconds, and then turns off for one second, and then repeats. So if we start the simulation, And there you go. So I'm going to leave it there for now as a uh, quick introduction into how to get started with Tinkercad, Arduino, and the Hello World code. So thank you. This is John Miskos. I'll be doing um, some more of this and uh, some online classes as well um, to go with it. So, see ya.